This type of weather usually makes us want to cuddle up indoors. But during a global pandemic, experts say that getting outside in the fresh air is more important than ever. Being outdoors really、um, dramatically reduces the likelihood of transmission, and it isn't just outdoors, but it's outdoors with fresh air. So it isn't the temperature being outdoors that's so much the feature; it's the the, the ventilation and the fresh air. And, and you know the fact that the virus disperses、uh, rather readily、um, when we're in the open air. People's mental health and ability to tolerate,、um, you know, any kind of public health measures, is really going to be affected by giving them outs and opportunities. And so I think what we really need to do is encourage people to,、um, where possible, where they can, to enjoy the outdoors,、uh, be outdoors, be prepared for spending time outdoors. But what can we do outdoors safely? I think that for many of the activities that people can do outdoors, they don't need to be masked. Skating, skiing, snowshoeing, walking—you know, jogging if you can,、uh, bike riding, depending on you know what kind of bike you have. All those things I would consider safe. You know, if you're talking about team things, you know, I would think things like ultimate frisbee.、Um, As an example, perhaps with some modifications, but, but I, I think a lot of outdoor activities, including in groups, can be done. What we really need to do is just minimize that kind of exposure. Outdoor team sports are not so much the issue; it's the congregating before and after that can get tricky. There's change rooms, there's change areas, there's travel to and from the rink, arena, gym, whatever you, wherever you're going to, and. All of those things involve people spending time together, usually in closed, poorly ventilated spaces. Whether outdoors or indoors, experts continue to stress the importance of maintaining social distancing, wearing masks where we can't do so, and washing our hands frequently. Now, I think there are many outdoor activities that people can do with a bit of imagination.